Hello and welcome to part one of our trip through the Riverland of South Australia. My name is David Foster. My wife Nolene Magnuson and I travel throughout Australia looking for birds and spectacular scenery to photograph. Join us on our journeys through this great country of Australia. After leaving Blue Pot Reserve, we travel to the small and pleasant caravan park at Kingston on Murray. We've stayed here before and we like it. Not far away is the Banrock Station Winery that has a large cafe with lovely views over the wetlands and onto the Murray River. It is a great spot for afternoon tea and coffee. The caravan park has a community vegetable garden where guests can help themselves to whatever is available. This is a lovely touch as the potential for fruit fly outbreaks makes taking fruit and vegetables from one place to another in the Riverland difficult and often illegal. Good morning, here we are at Kingston on Murray in the Riverland of South Australia. It's a beautiful morning. I keep saying that, I'm not sure why. I have to think of something else to say. But it is a nice morning. It's just nice to be up, listening to the birds, seeing a few birds flying, flitting around the trees on the river banks. From Kingston on Murray, we drove to Renmark and then on to Old Customs House. There's not much here at the Old Customs House, near the border between South Australia and Victoria. But in the 1850s, the Murray River was the equivalent of a railway network. Large numbers of barges and paddle steamers travelled through up and down the river on their way from New South Wales and Victoria, Queensland through to South Australia. When the boats crossed over the borders they had to pay duties. Each state levied its own duties. Along the road from Customs House to Renmark a short detour took us to the Headings Cliffs Lookout. In my opinion, some of the best views of the Murray River and its cliffs are here. Renmark is the largest town in the Riverland and is a pleasant place to visit. The attractive Art Deco Renmark Hotel was the first community-owned hotel in Australia. We grabbed the opportunity to take a one-hour trip on the paddle steamer industry. Run by volunteers, it only operates about 20 days a year. Thank you. 
The Renmark Riverfront Caravan Park is a very large, modern, well-run establishment. With a full range of facilities for children, it is very popular with families. During peak periods, up to two and a half thousand people can be staying here. The Riverland is a major fruit, nut and wine region. Huge areas are given over to citrus, stone fruit, apples, nuts and grapevines. Some of the wineries are huge. All of this industry is totally dependent on irrigation water from the Murray River. If the water flows are not managed properly, the industries and the communities suffer. We met up with our friends Ellen and Mary at Cobb Dogla. From there we travelled to Berry, where we had a pleasant morning coffee at a lovely cafe on the banks of the river. We looked out across the river at some of the many houseboats moored there. Cobb Dogla is a great place to stay. The small caravan park is pleasantly situated overlooking a small lagoon on the river. Alan went canoeing on the river paddling upstream against the fast flowing current before cruising back. Fairy Martins were busy collecting mud from the banks of the lagoon to build their nests. A few kilometres from Cobdogla is the pleasant town of Barmara on the banks of Lake Bonnie, one of the many waterways fed by the waters of the Murray River. We followed the quiet roads around Lake Bonnie, stopping to look for birds, and then stopped at the ruins of the Lake Bonnie Hotel. We're at the ruins of the uh, old Lake Bonnie Hotel. It was built by William Parnell in 1859. 
and he sold it a few years later to William Napper. The Nappers lived here for some years before moving on to Overland Corner Hotel and then to Burra, but then returned here again and William Napper lived out his life here running the Napper Accommodation House until the early 1900s. On our way back to Barmara, there was a quirky display of old kettles and teapots along a fence line. Thanks for watching. Join us next time as we travel from Cobb Dogler to Morgan and then back along the river to Wakery.